Big Boys Big Neighborhood. Boy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the neighborhood. Roddy Rich. Woo! Roddy. Grammy nominated okay. Roddy Rich. Tell you know, that. you working on slashes for real, for real, boy. Mm-hmm. I ain't, is it three nominations? Yeah, uh, yeah, three. Hey, man. And you know what it is, bro? Like, of course, you want the accolades. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't go in for the accolades, yeah. but it's got to be good to be noticed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And especially what you're noticed for. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure, especially with Racks in the Middle, it's got to be a sentimental Mm-hmm. With like uh, value as far as like it, it, it feels a little different. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's for sure like a bittersweet. Yeah, like, yeah. So it's it, but but I I just I appreciate them for even you know like really just putting the spotlight on. Yeah, big bro. When yeah, did man. you? Where were you when you found out? Um, I was in the studio actually. With, Always, um, huh? Yeah, with Chris. <laughs> with Chris. Um, Chris uh, Diddy son. Oh, really though? Yeah. Oh, a little. It was crazy. You was, and King getting something. What's yeah, going on? We just, uh, nah, we just we was we was just you know he he cool. I, I I rock with him. So we was just we was just chilling. He really just he was right there when it happened. Like, really though? Yeah. Did he what? tell you like, hey, you got nominated? Did nah, you see this? Nah, or they, you already had Kiefer, seen on your phone? Kiefer had told me one of my boys. He he told me like this. We got nominated. Were you this anticipating it? Like, uh, I didn't know. That's I, I dope. Like, yeah, I ain't know. Like, I wasn't. Nah. Or I, did you really not know? Or did you do one of those fake? I don't know. Nah, I didn't know because you know I, I, if you if you check my tour dates, I had booked I booked uh, Atlanta show on the Grammys because I was like I ain't oh I ain't gonna get. You're like I ain't gonna be there. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> so what happens to that date now? He like man, get this shit off my calendar. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to change that. <laughs> yeah, you're like, get, that, so, get that off my calendar, yeah. man. But you've been working hard, bro, and you continue yeah. to work hard. And and it's crazy, man, when you see someone that's starting they, that they work and you just start to hear certain things you know because yeah. right i've been hearing yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah. and then you while you're looking to the right someone comes from the left and it's like they smack you with with the talent the hard mm-hmm. work and the work that you've been kind of that you've been putting in mm-hmm. but you ain't slowed down at all either though huh i mean i just like i said i just really just be trying to just stay consistent with my every everyday regiments mm-hmm. and don't try to just I don't try to get knocked off of my focus. Yeah, man. How old are you, Roddy? 21. You just turned 21? Yeah. What did you do for your 21st birthday? Uh, I had my first birthday party. Your oh, first yeah, I remember birthday that. party? Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, didn't invite us? Wow, what, you wow. didn't invite us to your don't party? Don't trip. Don't trip. Crazy. No, no, yeah. you should have it with, you have it with your friends and, and family and the people that you love. You know what I'm saying? We don't feel bad at all. Nah, huh? nah. Cool? So 20, and, and that's that 21st, man. That's that like. But Dang. you know what? That's the people that you want to celebrate with. The people that I mean, you care was, about, I, the people I you respect. You I know what I'm saying? I didn't even know I was gonna throw a party until like. Neither did we. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we <laughs> until didn't like memo. until like until like two days before. Dude, we didn't know till like two minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So so <laughs> you throw crazy, this this yeah. uh, <laughs> you crazy. <laughs> so you throw this uh, I'm 21 gala celebration with with your friends and family and and homies and yeah. associates. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? How many people did you have there? Uh, it wasn't a lot. Okay, that's good. It wasn't a lot. Like four. Nah. Oh well, if it was more than it four, then that's it was. It was more it was, than four. It was, like it was a, a gathering, but it was just. Was it over ten? Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't over twenty. Uh, after a certain while, I mean, after a certain amount of people, you stopped counting. Wow. No, nah, it was just like after like one o'clock, two o'clock. I was checked out. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I wasn't yeah. even. <laughs> Yeah, you made yeah. it all the Whoever way was two? there was there. Right, right, right. Whoever was there I was, was invited like, too, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But don't trip, man, because it. I love you. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. don't 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 trip at all, man. You know what I'm saying? It does hurt <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's just us. That's just us being. I ain't even look. I ain't never soft. even threw no party. Like I ain't even. Really who who did the invitations? Sh- who did the like the invites? Uh. I don't know. Okay, so it wasn't huh. like you. Nah. Okay, so you just went into a I mean, house I, or a they, party full of strangers. When I got the flyers, no, nah, when I got the flyers, I, I had sent like a couple, but it was some of the rap, like some of my rap homies got mad at me because I ain't invited them. But we I, ain't the rap oh. homies. Yeah. We your friends, man, you know what I'm saying? What I'm saying you said you listened was, to me for was, years, man. It, it would have been my honor to go to your 21st birthday party, it man. Like I didn't that. practically like, raise you through the speakers. Oh, you crazy, man? Wow. That's what you told me. What no, do you mean you I'm crazy? Did. You did, man. But what I'm saying is, it wasn't a vibe like that. Like I ain't. Oh, so I don't know how to vibe with you. Oh my god! Like vibe, oh, y'all didn't y'all say, hearing this, right? I ain't say you was a vibe. Right, right. So I kill your vibe. Right, right. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. Wow. Oh man, no, okay. he changed. What did you? He changed. Hey, big. dude, you have changed, you bro. Changed. Man. You have changed. <laughs> I remember the last time you was here, you was, you was like, "Oh, unk, all oh, that." Uh-huh. Now you coming in? You ain't inviting us to the parties. Did, what I about your homies back here? No did, did they all go? 
Everybody birth, birthday? His birthday the same day as mine. Don't blame it on him. Yeah, that was his fault. Did, did, did so any he, of them go in really, there? Really, he didn't invite you to his birthday party as well. Oh, no, oh, it was his ooh, birthday party. You're passing the buck now. See, hey, that wow. Was, that's what the homies do. You know why he didn't invite me to his party? Because he don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't put it on your friends. <laughs> Roddy, what, what's going on with you now, man? Are you about to pick up? Is it is it tour time for you as well? Yeah. Really, yeah, though? Tour top of the year, for sure. Really? Do you have a 2020? Are you a New Year's resolution kind of person? Nah. Nah? Mm -mm. You ain't even thinking about it? Um, I said I said, I had said something on Twitter like 2020, I'm going to be on Do Not Disturb. But I'm always on Do Not Disturb. Though. What, what does that mean as far as um, just... I ain't, I just, I don't want to talk. The outside uh, chatter and like I'm working like. Yeah, I might, I might just go, just ghost. Like, I don't know if see me. Really though? Yeah. That's going to be a hell of a tour. I, no, nah, nah, I mean, <laughs> I'm going to go on tour, was there. but just, just, I might just fall back. And just as far as like really social just, media too, yeah, all that type, like that type of shit, being accessible. Yeah. What about? Are you working on your nose already? Like, like hell how to tell nah. people no? Oh no, not your nose over here. He was like, "Big hell no!" He's like, "Look at your nose." You think I'd have changed yeah. that much? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, "Man, we didn't have no cosmetic party." What are you talking about? <laughs> but not just learning how to tell people no. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't really got to tell nobody no. I just, I, I just, I don't know. I don't really. People don't really ask much of me. I heard that. Yeah. Because, yeah, I, because yeah. I've never. I've What'd never, you say? So don't say that. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not like that. I'm going to say this. Um, People always have respected my, like, just my being. Mm -hmm. like, not like, don't nobody override me. Is there a lot of people asking for collabs now? Uh, yeah. 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 Have you said no? Yeah. Yeah. You said yeah? <laughs> what makes yeah. you say no to a club? I don't, I don't, like, it just, I just got to catch, like, if we don't. If we don't catch no vibe, like mm. if we don't, like I'm not going out my way to go to your studio session. That's out. I heard that. I don't go out my way to go to nobody's studio session. If I pull up on your studio session, I fuck with you. Damn. I don't like. I never been like that though. I never been a nigga to just hop in studios or like go and pull up on certain people. I just, it's never been me. I just saw a picture of you and Kate out, you and Kendrick mm -hmm. together in the studio. That's recent, I've been. right? Yeah. Really though, mm -hmm. so what, what what y'all working on? Give me the exclusive. Don't take it to Charlemagne. He's the the blank on the <laughs> yeah. album. Yeah, that's my big bro. I mean, we just we just we just he just really you know because I knew him when I was when I was young. I knew him when I was uh you are like young. twelve years old. <laughs> oh, no, okay. I'm talking about like a kid <laughs> when the digits was flipped. <laughs> right, you're 21 yeah. now when you were 12. Yeah, 12. Like I was I was this was like a minute ago, and um he was just now not. I mean, I wasn't I wasn't I probably wasn't that young, but. He would just. This was when Rigor Mortis was out. Oh wow! Um, and I had I had met him and his family, and I was and he was like talk, talking to me about like I rapped to him and stuff when I was like little like that, and he had told me like, man, you gonna be you know like some some cool like you gonna be you gonna be something if you That's if you crazy. keep going right. That's so so then later on, like f just for years, like I always kept that in the back of my head, just doing all I was doing, but I never ran into him ever, like never. Seen him, talked to him. People said yeah, he yeah. knew who I was at a certain point, but it just, it never, I was like, he probably don't remember that shit. Mm -hmm. First time I got on FaceTime with you, he was like, I'm proud of you. Like, I remember, like, Aww. what I told you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and man. Shit, and you told me, you didn't tell me shit. Crazy. <laughs> nah, but <laughs> I, don't, don't try to take my shine off. It's crazy. Up. It's like, it's crazy. Isn't it crazy how that hard work pay off? But, but, but the yeah. same with me, Roddy, is I, I've had people throughout my whole career that said, man, I'm going to get up there and do an interview one day. And I still get people. And I never doubt it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I never doubt it. Because even when you were growing up, probably listening to me through the radio, at some point, we were going to meet up. And then, yeah. even in your head, you probably thought, like, man, I would, uh, you know, I would. Yeah. And, I mean, and we sat down. Bird got on the radio and said my name a million times. Yeah, yeah man, Bird. Called. Boy, Bird was like, uh -huh. he yeah. was chirping for real. Yeah. Yeah. But where Bird at now? Yeah. At Bird the in there? Oh, he, he, oh, in, he right at the house? There. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, that's Don, right but that's no, that's not Bird right there. No. I can't even see the lights. Oh, shit. Is like, Bird thought, in there? That's Bird. Oh, yeah. man. That's Bird. Man, hey, Bird yeah. don't want to hear why I didn't recognize him. He put some weight. <laughs> man. <laughs> Shout out to Bird, man. He, uh, he, he, uh, getting his percentage on. <laughs> yeah. He making, he making moves, man. Hell yeah. In, in slow motion, though. Did Bird put on some weight? <laughs> nah, Bird been working out. 
Hilarious. So you bringing out a comedy album? <laughs> so when does this comedy album drop uh, for you? Hey, He's excuse I'm, me I'm, for I'm, being I'm, funny. I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm going to go to bat for the homies. Hey, man, but yeah, excuse me for being antisocial. Yeah. You did kind of lean in and say, you know what? I'm going to back away a little bit. Mm -hmm. What does that mean, excuse me for being antisocial? Um, you know, when, when people meet me, like as far as just having a conversation with me, they, mm -hmm. they understand like how I am as a person. I laugh and like, but sometimes I'm like real serious. A person that, from the outside looking into the conversation, a lot of people always kind of, like, I look at, I see, like, on internet, too, where they'll be like, this nigga, why he look so mean? Like, this and this and that. Like, and just even when I interact with certain people, they have a they have a, a sort of already, like, thing embedded in their head of, like, they didn't see me when I was humble, like, young, like, not young, but, like, just coming into the game. Like, they didn't see me moving around and, and laughing and joking right. and stuff like that. So now when you see me and I'm just serious, moving around, just just really just like focused. Like game face and everything, yeah, game time. Yeah. Still humble, but just just moving around real focused. You right. know what I'm saying? They they take that as another thing, and I don't speak much to, you know. How do you feel about, like, your fan base, though? Um, I feel like they understand me mm -hmm. a lot more than outsiders and people who don't know me. I feel like this album was for people who didn't know who I was, like, internally. You know what I'm saying that. people who've been listening to me, they already know what's up with me. They know I don't like I don't speak when I ain't spoken to. Damn. Or they know, you know, like certain shit. Like, what about going up to artists before you got on? Had you ever been one of those yeah, aside from Kendrick? I, I, I did that. I did that one. I did that. Um, I did that a couple of times. Is there anybody that's calling for features now that you was probably like, man, you wasn't even looking at me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but that always happens. Yeah, it's people, when, especially when you're trying to get on. Yeah, I mean, it's just. It's how it, you know how it goes. You naming some hit names in your head right now, uh -huh. and it's pissing you off a little bit too. He's trying to play it off. He's like, oh man, <laughs> you know, nah, but you know how it big, goes. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Woo, man, I almost said it, big. You're like, bird, I almost said it. Nah, I ain't saying it. Really that, though. But. Now, now, what about Grammy night? Who do you take to the Grammys with you? My mother. That's dope. My mother, my grandmothers. Uh, try to put them in, you know. And them Had they always been oh, fans beautiful. and like of of the work as far as like um, how how much you were putting no. in that they understand? Yeah, see, <laughs> no, <laughs> my my great grandma is crazy. My great grandma, she like really was like, man, you could like, I think you could. And it's my great grandmother. Say like she believed in the the music, yeah. like the business side. Yeah, no, the music. Like yeah. she was like, I think you could do it. She's like, you know, like when I told my moms at first, when my mom found out like. He gonna rap and just try to do the little music. She like, man, that's you want to do music? Like, she know my brain. She know how far I think. Mm -hmm. You know, so my mom, she know a lot more about me than everybody. So it's like, you could be a lawyer. You could be this. You could be that. You know, she was like, this is what you want to do. And not dookieing on it, but like, like, nah, you know, you know, I mean, not I not believing I look, that you. I, I I make more than a lawyer. So it's like, mm -hmm. what could you, you know? It's like, nah, I, I know, but I seen that already. Like, I knew, like, I'm going to do this and I'm going to just set up, like, different business. I, I still been but dipping you, it But you wouldn't what? rather be and a man. lawyer? No. Same. Same yeah. here. Yeah. 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 No, I'm saying, nah, no, nah, nah, remember, here, remember last time, I was like, I was like, I ain't going to buy no jury. Mm -hmm. I still, I still been, like, just, but I just been more smart lately. Just, like, really just tapping into what I was telling you before. Like, I bought, I bought property in Compton yeah, before man. my album came Good. out. I did. I did a couple of things. I'm starting doing a trucking thing. So it's like just different things. I'm starting to invest your money. Yeah, hell you yeah. Know? But like, and, and really do it. Like at first it was like, okay, I'm putting it on the board, and this is what we got to do. But now it's really it's you're doing really it. there. Yeah. Hey man, is there like, one thing that you did treat yourself to when when uh, when something came in? You're like, man, I just got to treat myself to this one thing. I mean, um, my, my Eliante. Eliante. Yeah, really? Eliante. Uh, whoa. whoa. This dude, Jesus. What is that? You know, I had, he done pulled out some. Damn, that was tucked in yeah, there. Yeah, man. God. You look like a fucking tortilla with diamonds. <laughs> 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 All yeah. right. Is that and, and, belt, hey, man, and what's the watch? The, you know, I can never oh, get the, the watch. Yeah, the yeah. AP. What is that? Automar Baguette. Yeah. Automar yeah. Baguette. Automar Baguette. Yeah. Automar Baguette. Oh. A baguette? Wait, it's Audemars what? Automar Baguette. Okay, well, I don't know none of that anyway. You got that too? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Auto And yeah, so now, yeah. what what is this here? Oh, this is just my Eliante chain. So, I mean, when you look at it, I know you're gonna look at it crazy. You're not gonna know what this is, mm -hmm. right? But the point of the chain was for me to have something that was like it was like a sentiment to what I. Looks what I, beautiful. Like, you know, it's just done. But 
like he, right here, say he knows just what's diamonds. the end part okay right here you see how the gate is like a little broken yeah so i i could read it but it say anti and then inside it say social so it's uh, like somebody broke into the gate and tagged in blue writing social so it's anti-social and it's in the chain it got, uh it got barbed wire fencing around it it's this really a cut you damn let Whoa. it cut. Hey, let that thing cut you and sue his ass. <laughs> <laughs> but it's sharp. like it just fine. Sharp. It's fine detail behind it. Is it only one of one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I thought you brought one wow. in for my fiftieth birthday. But don't, trip. See, no, see, no, no. See. don't even trip. Don't even trip, man. No, nah, don't even trip, man. We gonna finish the interview anyway. Who's the feature on Antisocial? Damn. Uh oh. Man, gonna just do it. <laughs> I just gotta be straight up. I oh. Just... Oh, sorry for coming for an interview, you black <laughs> bastard. All right. Sorry here we for Carrie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, I mean, I really just wanted to be. I wanted to be a, a moment. surprise. I wanted, yeah, I mean, I figured they is people it, making good guesses. Is it Kendrick? Mm -hmm. I mean, people making. Good I mean, guesses. that's my guess. It's mm -hmm. Kendrick. That's a good guess. Hey man, wink your right eye if Kendrick is on there. Okay. Uh, uh, all right, there it is. That's dope, man. That's that? dope. Or I maybe it's not dope. You, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe it's not dope. You know what I'm saying? I blink. I just blink. <laughs> you winked. I right. blinked. That was a blink. A blink hey, yeah. and a wink? Oh, the same I don't know what it was. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just think brother trusted me and we had a moment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We, we had a moment. I don't know what they wanted to call it, brother. You know what I'm saying? Are yeah. you are you uh, satisfied with the actual album? Of course. Yeah. Uh, of course. It seemed like you're your own biggest critic, too. Uh, yeah. I didn't... <laughs> when, I, when, I turned, when I turned it in, I'm like, man, I should wait another year and drop... <laughs> Why did you want to wait another, another year? Another year or wait till the top of the year? You talking about like another 12 months? Yeah. Why would you do that to yourself? I was just yeah. like. Where Bird at? Nah. <laughs> I mean, obviously we wasn't going to do it. Right, 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 it right. Just, it was just like, I just, I don't know. I felt like I had more shit to talk about now. Because yeah. like when you get to the end of your album, it's like you put in little songs or whatever. But like it seemed like right around like, because I, I don't know. I just be recording off leisure. Like when I mm -hmm. just feel something. I just record it, whatever. It's not like I go into the studio like, man, I'm making my album right now. Like, right, I'm, right, right. I don't record like that. I just record based off of, like, if I feel a certain type of way, the more I feel a certain type of ways, that's the better the song going to be. Roddy, how many is on the album? Please excuse me for being antisocial. Songs? Yeah. Um, 17. How, damn. How do you pick the 17? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm pretty sure you record more. And I know you don't. It, it's almost like every one of them is like your baby. You know what, yeah. what I'm saying? What's your process of elimination? Um, I really just like to put together the best songs that go together. Mm -hmm. I like to put together the, the best songs that that just fit like fit together like a puzzle. They just tell their different their different stories collectively mm -hmm. into the body. What you do know, you do songs. with the songs that you don't don't use? Shit, I can bootleg them. Mm -hmm. What's up? <laughs> I'll release them for you. You know what I'm saying? Just, I got two kids. I got tuition. What you what you talking about? <laughs> do you have any kids? Nah. Are you will after this tour? Nice. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, buddy. Don't man. get no kids. Hey, man. I've said it to people before, oh, bro. Don't yeah, get no man. Kids. And, and you about to go out like on your own, 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 huh? Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, I mean um, you know. Stay on I feel like I feel like <laughs> I feel like whenever that time come, I'll be ready for it. What? Because ready for whatever. To be a dad? Whatever. With a fan? Um, Whenever no, it's really not. <laughs> Whoever. I mean, <laughs> like I, I look, I don't look at it like it's a bad thing. Nah, it's not. Especially well, uh, yeah, I mean, in the position I'm in, my my family. If like, she got like a name after a spice, then it is a bad thing, like some cinnamon <laughs> or you know what I'm saying, give it up a thyme nah, or nutmeg nah, or something nah, like nah. that. Nah, <laughs> nah. <laughs> yeah, you. Know. If I do it, I, if I do it, it'll definitely be done right. And the thing is, I just feel like um, nobody's ever ready to be a parent. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, see that? I feel like. As a parent, your obligation to your kid is is really to just teach them what you what you've experienced because that's really all you can that's mm -hmm. all you can offer. I feel like as parents, sometimes people over like they over override their kids or they like try to try to put something on them that they wanted to. Mm -hmm. do. You know, you kind of just gotta let a human. Are being you the only one that's first. musical or yeah in your family? Yeah, so oh. nobody understood that. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Like a lot of people didn't really get it. Yeah. When I was doing what I was doing. So I understand that even even like I, I have conversations with my pops, like when I was growing up, me and my dad wasn't like that close. Mm -hmm. But we understand same. each other because it's like we like one and the same. Like I kinda I kinda understand his judgment on things. Like he almost believed in like as a father, you gotta be like God to your son. Mm -hmm. 
Like, mm -hmm. like how God is to us, how he just give us free will and just let us do whatever. But he, but he gives us the rules as to like, you should do this, you should yeah. do that. Mm -hmm. But you make your decision as a man and you got to stand on that. That's how my pops. You and pops close now? Yeah, we cool. I heard we that. Real cool. Like, Mom, and your mom's cool too? Yeah. I heard that. Yeah. yeah. At least you uh, know who your dad is. That's always good. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? We'll you talk after funny, this. Man. Yeah, no, no. We, we, we'll talk after this, man. You know what I'm saying? This is yeah. this is about you. This isn't me going to Roddy Rich for counseling. You know what I'm saying? But we, we'll talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Do you see my left eye twitch as soon as I said it? You start talking about your wow. dad. I just start, my left eye just started uh, twitching, man. Right, okay. See me blinking and everything, man. Okay, Roddy, what's the best and worst thing about being Roddy Rich? Hmm. I feel like. Um, Hey, bro, you got to calm down. Mm -hmm. Your excitement is... <laughs> He's really trying to <laughs> think about it. <laughs> this is, like, nah, I really be taking that shit in. Like, what what that mean? Like, mm -hmm. damn, the best part about me, being me. Um, I feel like the worst part about being me is sometimes I I can't understand. I can't, I can't really feel if someone is genuine. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the worst part about being, I guess, Roddy Rich. Um, the best part about me being who I am is um I became a motivational uh a motivational figure for all the all the youngest came under me. Cause mm -hmm. I didn't have that mm -hmm. like somebody to really just like Bird was that to me, but we on a different you know, mm -hmm. we, like we really built something different now. Like we really we How really, did you and Bird hook up? Um, like, I went to school with his niece, damn. Texas, and she and um, I'd be going through the hallway someday. I like I wasn't really going to school some days, so like when she ever like whenever she catch me in the hallway, she'd just like be like, "Oh, Bird, give you this hundred dollars, or Bird, like yeah," because he knew I I did like he knew I was in the sh like streets and shit, mm -hmm. you know. So he like he really it wasn't him like trying to like give me money because I was just poor, but it was just like. It's somebody here that care about you. That's, That's dope. Beautiful. Why did you trust in Bird? What What was Bird doing beforehand? You uh, know what I'm saying? Bird was in the oil refinery. Yeah, I'm just saying. You know, <laughs> I oh, make good money at the oil. Refinery. I don't know. He turned around and started laughing. So I don't. Yeah. I don't but but you know what I'm saying? I don't, like I don't, I don't, you know, how there's be, some I people. Be, I don't be wanting to discuss. But discuss no, his, no, let me tell you, know you why I ask like, you that, homie. Let me tell you why I ask you that. Yeah. The reason why I ask you is because. We, when we're artists or trying to get into business, it's yeah. what have you done in the business yeah. Yeah. that's I mean, gonna nah, bring me nah, on. See, nah. see, yeah, so the, so you you got more and, of a person. Yeah, with me and him, like me and Bird, really just built this from the ground up. Yeah, you know, it wasn't like we had any handouts. It was a lot of people that was that it, that that could have that could have came and, and and helped us. Nobody did. Mm -hmm. So like me and him and, and, and Dombo, his little brother, like we really just. Formed a, a sense of like if we gonna do something let's just let's just do it within us. Hey man, for the years that Bird was just trying to tell me certain things, I wish I would have listened and been a part of what's going on now. Just for me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not for you, you know what I'm saying? Just so I can, you know what I'm saying? Like because Bird was like, man, I'd be like, man, get on out of here, Bird. Yeah. I even told him he was like, man, Roddy Rich. I said, man, drop that dude. Yeah. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> but no, man, it, it's it's good when you have a great teammate, yes. man, yeah. and it's good when y'all win together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Bird, as far as Bird, you always been one thou while with me, bro, yeah. and that's real talk. Mm -hmm. Roddy Rich, thank you once again for coming into the neighborhood. Appreciate the only so. time you took your hands out your pocket was to sip water. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't you don't this. want no money falling out. Y'all yeah. make sure y'all log on to RadioBigBoy.com, Big Boy's Big Neighborhood. Boy.